In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can distribute with radical expressions. You may recall the distributive property from your previous math experience, where we could multiply the number in front of parentheses to get AB plus AC. We can do the same thing with radicals, as long as we make sure our final answer is reduced. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just this. Here, you notice we've got the 5 root 10 in front of the parentheses. We'll start by distributing it in, multiplying by the 2 root 6. We multiply the outside numbers to get 10, and inside the radical, 10 times 6 is 60. We continue distributing by multiplying through by the negative 3 root 15. 5 times negative 3, the coefficients on the outside, is 15, and inside the radical, 10 times 15, is 150. Before we're done, we want to make sure our radicals are completely simplified. Let's find the prime factorization of 60. Dividing by 2, 30 times, by 2, 15 times, by 3, 5 times, and by 5, 1 time. We now have 10 times the square root of 2 squared, times 3 times 5. Minus 15 times the square root of, again, we will find the prime factorization of 150, by dividing by 2, 75 times, by dividing by 3, 25 times, by dividing by 5, 5 times, and 5 once. 150 is 2 times 3, times 5 squared. We can simplify the 2 squared by dividing the exponent by the index, and multiplying by 10 to get 20 times the square root of 3 times 5, or 15. Minus, the 5 squared can come out as just a 5 to the first, and 5 times 15 is 75, times the square root of 2 times 3, which is 6. We now have our final solution. Let's take a look at another example, where we have to distribute through the parentheses, and then simplify our radicals as much as possible. In this problem, again, we'll distribute by starting to multiply the 7 root 3 by the root 6. Outside the radical, we only have the 7. Inside the radical, we have 6 times 3, which is 18. We continue to distribute by multiplying by the 9. The 9 is not under a radical, so it is an outside number and gets multiplied by the 7. 7 times 9 is 63. The square root of 3 has nothing to be multiplied by inside the radical, and so it is just attached. Before we're done, we want to make sure we simplify our radicals by finding the prime factorization of 18, which is divisible by 2 9 times, 3 3 times, and 3 1 time. The prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 squared, plus 63 times the square root of 3, which is already prime. You may notice that we can take the 3 squared out of the radical. Dividing the exponent by the index, 1 3 comes out. 7 times 3 is 21, times the square root of 2, plus 63, times the square root of 3. And we have our final solution. Distributing with radicals works just like distributing with normal variables. We multiply the outside and inside numbers together, and make sure our final answer is completely reduced.